Welcome to chapter five of the How to Guide GPS video series. Today's topic is honestly kind of boring, but organizing your saved items becomes more and more important as you use Gaia GPS more and more. Let's get started. So why organize your saved items? Well, for the same reason you'd want to organize anything to be able to access it relatively easily, right? And to show you what's going on here, we're going to look at what we have on the map right now. These four items are ones that we created earlier in this video series, and they are currently visible on the map and you don't really see anything else in the state of California. And it's not because of overlays up here, because if we open that up, you'll see that everything's turned on right now. And if you remember from chapter one, this is more of a global setting that affects all waypoints or all routes. So if I turn waypoints off, now you can see that those waypoints down here are no longer visible. Okay, so we know it's not because of an overlay setting. It's because of how I have things organized in the saved items folder. So if we go here to saved items, and for the sake of the rest of this video, let's just call this the main folder that we're looking at right now. And you can see a bunch of grayed out stuff and a couple things that aren't grayed out. And that little eye icon next to each item indicates whether it's visible or not. In this case, the racetrack right here, which is down here, is visible. So if I wanted to turn this one individual item off, I can do that and hide it. Let's make it visible again for now. And you can see a bunch of grayed out items, like I said, one of them being California. Now, if I want to turn all of California on, all the data that I have in the California folder, I can make that visible by clicking the little eye. And now you see that there is a ton of stuff. Right? I've got waypoints and routes going on everywhere, and that's too much to look at most of the time. Really, you just want to focus on the area that you're adventuring in for the most part. And that's really why you want to organize items. For now, let's hide everything in the California folder again, and then go deeper into that folder by double-clicking on it. What you see right now is the overview section of a folder, and there's some settings down there and different things you could do. We'll come back to this stuff. What we really want to look at is items right next to overview, which will show us everything within that folder. So there are three items in the California folder. One is the area I created for it, which is that big yellow shading right here. And that was to save offline maps. And then we have things divided into Southern and Northern California. If we take a look at Northern California here, I'm going to make all that visible. That's still quite a lot of stuff, right? Particularly up here. So let's make that hidden again and then go deeper into that Northern California folder. All right, same thing, brief overview with some settings and seven items. Now I have things divided into like more specific localized areas. So as you can see, we have Stanislaus National Forest, which is all this stuff right here. We've got Tahoe National Forest, a couple things up here. We've got the Lost Coast, a bunch of stuff over here. And that way you're only looking at the data that you want to look at, which helps with how fast things load into your map, both in the web and especially in the mobile app. And this is the main reason why you want to keep things organized. Okay, so now let's learn how to start organizing your saved items. And this video isn't so much a how you should organize your saved items, it's more of a how you go about organizing your saved items. And we're going to use these four items here that we created earlier in this video series for our example. And we're going to start with Ubihibi Crater right here. So if we select that and we go to the bottom of this menu here, you're going to see Change Folder. So let's click that. And here are your four most recently used folders. You can also look for an existing folder, but let's say you don't have an existing folder. You're just starting off with organizing your saved items. Let's create a new folder then. And let's just call this one new. So then you click create folder and there you go. The Yubihibi creator waypoint is now in the new folder. So let's close that. And now let's look for that in the saved items. So if we open that again, we'll see at the top here, the new folder we just created. And you can sort these lists no matter what folder you're in any way you want with the settings up here. Right now I have it sorted by time and it's going from newest to oldest. And we could change that to just what it's called from A to Z, which is usually how I like to look at it. And now new is down here in alphabetical order. You can also filter items and just show the type of items that you want. So if I only wanted to look at folders, I could do that. And that gives me every single folder I have 
for all my saved items organized from A to Z right now. If I wanted to only look at roots, I can do that too. So this is every root I have in whatever folder they're located in, in all of my saved items. All right, let's go back to all items and continue with our example here. So we have our new folder, and if we go into that, we see a general overview again, and then just the one single item that's in here. Let's say you wanted to put this back into either a different folder or that home folder again. So we're going to select that. And then we're going to click the little folder icon here. You got more folders, create a new folder or remove from folder. Now, if you do remove from folder, I'm just going to do exactly what it says. So now if we go back, we'll see that it's back into our main folder here. So you can also move items directly from this list instead of selecting it on the map. And you could do multiple items at the same time. So if we wanted to do all four of these together, we can do that. And I'm going to file it to new again. So now everything that we just moved, all four of these guys, are in here. And we can verify that by making it invisible. And there we go. That's how to store things in whatever folder structure that you create so that you can easily view or hide them as you need them. Now, we also have this one item here that's still visible that you saw earlier in this video series. Let's organize that one too. So I'm going to click into this area that's titled Idaho and we're going to change folder. And again, I'm going to create a new folder for everything that I'll be creating in the state of Idaho from now on. So I'm going to create that folder. And now we have this map area within the Idaho folder. To verify that, let's just go back to the main menu, click on the new Idaho folder. And there we go, we have one item, which is just that map area. Okay, let's go back to hide Idaho for now. And let's look at our new folder again. And as you saw at the beginning of this video, you can put folders within folders. So if we're using our new folder, we can change what folder new is in by creating a new one or browsing for existing ones. Let's browse for an existing one. So all that stuff was in Death Valley. So yeah, I can do it in California here. Or I can go deeper within California. And let's put it into Southern California. So I do have more folders in here. And I do have a Death Valley one. There it is at the top here. So I'm going to move it into Death Valley. So now you see like a little snapshot of the folder path right here. We've got our new folder that we're at right now, which is within Death Valley. Now, if we want to go back to the very beginning, we can click back to start right here, which is the folder icon. And that brings us back to our main folder. And just to look at that folder path again, let's click it through California one more time. So we're in we're in the main folder, California. And then if I go into Southern California, you'll see that pop up up here. And then let's say, let's go to the Bishop area and you'll see that path kind of continue. And here's a drop down showing you the whole folder tree in case you have a ton of folders within folders. Okay, so let's go back to our new folder one more time. And you can move items from here too, just like you did earlier. So if I wanted to just take, let's say these two roots and move them, if I click remove from folder, that's going to throw those back into the main folder. So it'll never just jump back one folder. If you're removing from the folder, it'll always throw everything back into the main folder. All right. So that's kind of how to move things around or create new folders and things like that. So let me close this. And before we look at organizing saved items on the mobile app, let's take a look at one more thing that you can look at if you wanted to. And that is under your little avatar icon here. If you click that, you see tracks, routes, areas, all this stuff here, right? Um, let's look at waypoints, for example. So I'm going to click waypoints, except I'm going to open this in the new tab just to make things a little bit easier for me. And these are all my waypoints just in a very, very different view than we had earlier. 
I don't necessarily think it's easier per se. And you technically can organize and move things around in this view as well. But this view here for me primarily is used to look at anything you've archived in the web version or quote unquote deleted in your mobile app version. So right here is show archived. And then you're gonna see all the things that I've removed as we've been doing this video series here. So like we have like this little emoji one. I don't remember exactly what chapter that was from, but that was archived just because I was using an example. And if you wanted to delete it permanently, this is where you would delete something forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that emoji one now. Delete permanently, yes. And there we go, that emoji waypoint is gone forever now. And as far as I know, this web feature right here is the only way that you can permanently delete a saved item. There's one more note that I should add about looking at all of your saved items through this particular feature on the web, which is this column right here, the sync column. So it's really easy to be able to select any items that you don't want to sync for whatever reason through this particular way of looking at your saved items. All right, so over in the mobile app here, you'll see the two routes that, if you remember from a minute ago, we moved back out in the main folder. So let's organize those again in the mobile app. So at the bottom of the screen, we're gonna hit the saved icon. And up in the top left-hand corner, you see the three little lines there. We're gonna click that, and that's how you choose what items you wanna look at. Right now I've got folders selected which is why we don't see those items. So instead, I'm gonna to go to all. And here we have everything that's in the root folder. If we wanna organize that, it's up in the top right-hand corner, the three little outline dots. And as you can see at the very bottom there, sort by, we have date or title. Let's go to title. And now we have things in alphabetical order. Okay, so let's find those two roots there. So we have the Titus Canyon route. And I'm just going to go straight into that. And then I'm going to select choose parent folder near the middle of the screen there. And we'll go into Southern California. And it's now moved into Southern California. And if we wanted to move that again, we can do to change folder again. And here you've got a list of literally all the folders that I've got going on. So if I wanted to put it into new, I just go down to new. Now let's do the same thing with UBHB Crater, except we're gonna click on those three little dots next to the eye icon. And we're gonna hit choose parent folder from there. And again, I'm gonna scroll down and put it into new. So that's how to move around saved items in the mobile app. It's a little more cumbersome, as you can see, I do most of my organizing on the web version just because it's a lot easier and faster, in my opinion. But you can do it in the mobile version. And if ever you wanted to create a new folder, you just go to those three little dots in the top right again and hit Create Folder. So let's title this one Example and then hit Save. And then it shows up on our list of folders here. Now, if I wanted to delete any of these items in here, you just click into it, you click on more, and then you hit delete. And just keep in mind, when they use the term delete in the mobile app, it really means to archive. So you can still find it in your archived items in that web feature that we looked at just a minute ago. Okay, so the biggest difference between the mobile version and the web version is offline maps. So if we click at the top left-hand corner again on those three little lines, we can see maps. Now this is a list of every single saved map that you have for offline use. Here on the map page of the web version, you're not gonna find your saved offline maps over here in saved items. See so if we go to filter, we go to items, Nothing about saved maps here, right? The only place you're gonna find that is that view we looked at earlier, right here. And there you go, there are all your maps. How you wanna structure folders for your saved items is ultimately up to you. But hopefully this video gets you started with organizing all of your saved items. Next time, we'll be taking a look at how to import, export, and share your saved items. 
Until then, thanks for watching. And remember that destinations don't matter, the journey matters. This is Roger wishing you happy organizing.